Hello everyone, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with several tools in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, um, I'm sure you can see this particular slide, which is the title slide. And looking at this, you know, that title placeholder that I'm moving around, you would see that it looks like a 3D stuff looks really pretty cool you can achieve this in microsoft powerpoint all right so to do this you have to be working with your themes okay so i'm gonna go to on the home tab you would achieve that by the drawings but i'm gonna go to the next slide that has slide heading so this particular one all you need to do is click on the slide heading okay you can see normally this is how slide headings comes there's no design there but you can actually design slide headings to look really cool now click on the um, slide heading placeholder home tab you will find the drawing group and you would see here shape field now the shape field you can add colors that you want let's use something that is let's use okay something really cool that gray um i want something good should i use a green a yellow oh cool let me use this yellow so it's obvious and you see what you're doing so shape field simply adds a shape um, color background to the placeholder all right title placeholder and the shape outline what the shape outline does you can add color to the outline so i might want to add black color to the outline you would see in the screen what it looks like so i add black but it's not that obvious the outline is black but not that obvious you can increase you can increase that outline width so shape outline i'll just go there this is the width i want the width to be four points so you can see by that heading slide heading it's thicker the outline i can even decide to make it the six point outline so that's what I, it looks like now to make it look like the first one that looks like a 3d i'll still click on the the slide heading placeholder and then go to the shape effects remember you get access to this from the home tab drawings group and then you have access to that okay make sure you click on the heading placeholder so shape effects here I have presets. All you need to do is choose the one that best suits you. Presets, I can choose this particular one. You see how that heading looks really beautiful. I can decide to chain, turn it around the way I want. So let's go to the shadow part. It gives the the your design a beautiful shadow. All right, so let's see the reflection. This one gives it a reflection if that's what you want. The glow to it gives the edges a beautiful glow. Here you want to bend it around. See what we have there. Angle is not showing. All right, let me go to the preset and choose this particular one called preset two. So I like the heading and what I I get there. I um, that's cool and it's obvious. You can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's how to make your heading look really poppy and different from what it's what the standard format you can see. This is just there. You can actually design your work to look beautiful. If you're good with um, color coding, then you can give it a good color coding. I am not particular about the kind of color that I want to use just to show you how to apply um, design your presentation slide heading to look really good okay so you can see here that's a particular heading here you might want to add a word add to it so still click on that 
Now, Home tab, click on the slide heading, placeholder, Home tab, and you will find top there, you will find the Shape Format, the Shape Format tab. Now, click on the Shape Format tab. Still, it will take you to that point where you will have the Word Art Styles group. Word Art Styles group. So, click the more arrow and you have different kinds of Word Art. Once you scroll all through the Word Art Styles, you will see how it changes. And then you can choose the Word Art Style that you want or that best suits your work. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to choose that particular one. So that's how to apply what art design to your test. Okay, so I want to talk about line spacing. I don't like this what art, so I just will, I will change to something cool so we can get it. Oh, cool. So let's use this. I want to talk about line spacing. Or character spacing talking about character spacing you would see how the structural design it's in its normal standard format so to add um, character spacing you go to the home tab the fonts group you will find that icon there all right this particular icon that says character spacing you would see it's there so click the down arrow you will find that it's at its normal state Note, you can apply loose. Just watch at the slide head and how it changes. Loose, very loose. Okay, let me take and zoom there. So if I apply the normal, the loose, the very loose format, I hope you see how that moves around. So it will spread the slide heading beautifully across your slide. So that's how to work with the character space scene. Okay, so line spacing, you can also add line spacing to your slide presentation. So I'm going to scroll down to slide 9. I have tests there and a picture. So looking at this, because I have tests here, I'm using this particular one. To add line spacing, select. You don't just add line spacing to Microsoft Word document. You can also add line spacing to your PowerPoint presentation. So select and go to the home tab. You will find the paragraph group. Paragraph group and that is the line spacing. Click the down arrow. It's either you choose the one point line spacing that once you point at it, you see it's changing. Okay, let's use the one point that's pretty cool but I'm going to increase that test placeholder so it can take that size of one point okay so let's see what if you did apply so I have my one point line spacing so first and foremost you just need to let's see you can click the test placeholder go to that point and select does it work let's see yeah it does so it's either you click the test placeholder or you select the content and apply it over there all right so you can if you look here you would see um i do have you can insert several i have pictures here and i have pictures there you can insert pictures and several things to your slide i'm just going to add a new slide you can, depending on what you want to put, you can choose a particular slide that you want, depending on the content. So what I want to talk about is smart art graphics. So looking into this slide window, you will see some icons there that tells you what exactly you can add to your slide. Here you can add a table. So there are two ways you can add this information here. It's either you add a table from this point, you number of columns number of rows and you click ok so it, your table would appear all right you can also add a table from the insects tab tables group down arrow and then you count rows and column that's another way you can add 
a table. Here you can insect a chart. From the insect tab, you can also insect a chart from the illustrations group. Okay, and here you can add smart art graphics. Smart art graphics you can add through the slide window. You can also add smart art graphics from the illustration group, from the insect tab, illustrations group, and you have the smart art graphics. So most of the things you can add through the window, which is quite easy, you can also do that from this illustrations group. Now, the most important thing I want to show you here is pictures. From here, you can get picture from your computer. From here, you can get online pictures the same way you can get in, from the insect tab, image group, pictures. Here, you can get picture from your computer. You can get picture from online. Okay, so let's, those are two ways you can insect objects into your slide now the video you can actually insert a video in your slide okay so this presentation i do have a video that i already insected or i added into a slide to tell my story so on slide four it's going to play okay all right so that's how you can insect just to let it play a little bit. Traditional computer. Okay, so that's how you can insect a video on the slide. So I'm just gonna scroll down to that particular slide and to insect a video to your slide, click on that point. Again, click on this where you have insect video. Now go to your computer and choose the exact video that you want to insect into your slide. I'm going to choose just let's see this particular video. I clicked on that video. That's a, a video that I created, and I'm gonna add click on the insect. So we have it there. So once it comes in, it comes some will come in bigger screen, but you can um, adjust to the type of screen that you want. So just click hold and pull through until it covers the screen. All right, and click hold drag through you can actually extend it you can also adjust it here the size but I don't know what size this window screen it's uh, just gonna I'm just going to click hold and adjust so it fits it fits to what I want okay so that's it you know exactly that you can adjust to fit in properly cool so what i would do now this looks a little bit better then i can click hold and move it a little bit so i can play this video hello everyone how are you today and welcome back now that is how to insect a video into your slide and if you're making a presentation i just want to show people a little clip of what you're talking about you can insect a video into your slide and play once you get to that particular slide all right so i like to talk about what i call tabs okay to add tabs you can add tabs to your slide presentation so i'm just going to add a new slide window so in this slide window so i'm just going to call this heading practice practice make it bold add shadow to it they add shadow make it bold and shadow and let's spread it across make it loosely spread out cool so i want to add tabs just the same way you add tabs to your presentation or to your Word document, you can add tabs to this particular one. So if you look here, you would write under the ribbon, you would see that I have a ruler. This is a ruler. Okay. So to make sure that your ruler is activated on your slide presentation, what you need to do is you go to the view tab and the show group by the show group ensure that the ruler is checked okay 
So that's where you would find the ruler under the ribbon. Once that is sorted out, now you can go ahead and add tabs. Now tabs makes your work look really cool. It's like a table, but now it's a tab format. Okay, let me show you how that works. Click on the home tab. By the paragraph group, you will find the dialog box launcher. Okay, click the dialog box launcher. And the, this dialog box comes out. Proceed and click on the tabs button. Here the tabs button. Here is where the tabs dialog box. This is where you add tabs. So firstly, I'm going to add two. Press two and click the set button. So if you look into this box, there's two centimeter. Now back into that tab stop position, I want to delete that two and add 10. Okay, so I have click the set button and into this box, you would see that I have two centimeter and 10 centimeter. Once you're done adding these tabs, remember it's like tabs is like a, a table format that you want to create within your slide window. So I'm cool with this and I will just go ahead and click OK and click OK too. Now I am in this window, I will press the tab key. Once I press the tab key, I want to type in some information. So let's say Cape Town. Cape Town. Now, once you type that the first word, now look here. Cape Town started with two centimeter because that is the tab that I created. You will see over there, it has the two centimeter. That is the tab I created. So I'll go back and press the tab key. Remember, I typed in. 10 centimeter. I'm going to put in the phone number. That's an example though. That's a phone number. If you also look at this particular point, you would see that the tab started from the 10 centimeter. That was what I created in the tabs dialog box. So I'm going to press the enter key. So once you press the enter key, it goes and follows it. Let's call this Belleville. Belleville. Press the tab key and then it goes straight and starts at the 10 centimeter because that is what you have created or modified. Okay, so that's how to add tabs key. If you look this, it looks really cool and it's like in a table format. All right. All right. So far, you have seen how to add tabs to your slide. Okay. You can also remove the tab if you do not want it any longer in your slide window. So what you need to do is straight out where you have the two centimeter slide, click, hold and drag down into the slide window so if you look there that particular um, tabs for two centimeter is gone now for the 10 centimeter click hold and pull into the slide window drop okay so i have successfully removed the two centimeter and the 10 centimeter tabs so i'm just gonna move backward press the tab key is it still there pull into pull into so I have that sorted so I don't have tabs anymore now I'm pressing my space bar to set my work space bar okay so if I want to press tabs as well I can press tab key tab key and then it moves normally Okay, and not going straight to be at the 10 centimeter. Okay, so that's how to remove your tabs from your um, from the setting. Just hold that tab, click hold it, and pull into the slide window. All right. So before I end this lesson, I want to show you how to add a logo 
to your presentation it could be a logo company logo it could also be a picture now let's assume this is my presentation or your presentation that you're finished working on and you have a logo to add to add a logo what you need to do is you go to the slide master view T talking about slide master view okay so slide master view lets you insert a picture or a logo into your slide and position it at a strategic place in your slide that appears on the same point on all of the slides so to do that you go to where you have the view tab and by the view tab scroll to where you have the master views and there is the slide master so click on the slide master once you click on the slide master this is the view scroll by the slide pane click and hold scroll all the way up and click on the number one slide that is there okay so here you can insect a logo to your presentation or a picture now to do that you go to the insect tab and that's your picture you can get a picture online or from the computer so i want to get a picture from the computer and here is the picture that i want to use search through your computer and find the picture you want to use this is the one i like to use for this illustration so i'll click and then insect all right so this picture is quite big i'm going to trim it trim i can hold drag and pull through hold drag and pull through you can also click on the picture and resize where you have the resize group okay so i want to make that five centimeter type and press the enter key so now i have reduced the picture to that size now hold the picture click hold and drag drop it exactly where you want it to appear on your presentation you can put it below or or at the top so i'm just gonna place it at the top right hand corner so once you do that click anywhere on the slide window at the top which is the ribbon you'll find the close group close master view just click and close the master view once you close the master view you will find that if you scroll through your slide window you will find necessarily it doesn't appear on the first screen which is the uh, title screen the title slide but if i go to the um, second slide you would see my logo all right or the picture now the good thing is you cannot move this picture around and it's at the same point on all the slides so slide three you will see my logo but anyway this picture that i have here you can see it's covering it all right so this is just an illustration i believe that you do understand what i mean okay so at the same point on all of the slide my slide four it's a video so you're not going to find the logo there because it's a video here you can also see i have my logo i also have my logo on that slide so on all of your slides you will find your logo on the slide okay so that's how to add a picture or logo to your presentation i hope you do like this video please let me know what you think about it and i'll see you in the next one